Hello there. Welcome to Pixel Learning Hub. My name is Aria and I am a Pixel Product Specialist. In today's session, I will be showing you how to add a display to the Pixel Console. But what is Pixel Console? You must be wondering that, right? Well, let me help you understand the full picture. For your digital signage network to function, you will need two, or in many cases, three components. The digital screen, or the TV, that will show your contents. The digital signage player, that will have the operating system. And last but not the least, the software, that is the Pixel console. From where you will publish contents on your screen. We hope that you have all these three tools ready. Now, before getting started, you can make sure that you have a Pixel-supported player. For your information, let me tell you, Pixel supports a wide range of hardware and operating systems that include Android, Windows, Raspberry Pi, LG Web OS, Samsung Tizen, Chrome OS, Amazon Fire TV, Mac OS, and Linux. Well, I think we haven't left much room for disappointment. You are most likely to find that Pixel is compatible with your signage player. So now, moving on. Let's see how the whole process works. First, connect the digital signage player with your TV's HDMI port and switch on the power. After that, configure the signage player with your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Once you get the access to the Internet, it's time for you to download the Pixel app on your player. To do that, go to pixel.com slash downloads. From there, you can download and install the latest version of the Pixel application, depending on your player operating system. On successful installation, the Pixel application will launch itself. And it will show you a six-digit registration code on your signage screen. Once that appears, the only thing now left will be pairing your screen with the Pixel console. For that, log into the Pixel console. You will see that the screen module on the left is highlighted. From here, click on this plus button. You will get a prompt to enter the registration code. Letters in the code are case sensitive. Therefore, make sure to type in the six digit code exactly as shown on your digital screen. After you hit next, you will be asked to add a screen name. Fill it in. You can also add the location of your display. The device location can be put in manually. Along with that, you also have the option to use a Google location. Adding a location often makes it easier to identify your screens. However, these two are optional fields. After you have filled in the details, click on Proceed. And you will see that the name of your new screen appears here, under the screen module. This means that your screen has been successfully registered with the Pixel console. The tiny green dot here implies that your screen is active and running. You are also shown the time when your screen was last active. Moving on to the next column, it says, Default Composition. Now, if you look at your digital screen, it must be playing the default composition. The default composition plays on your screen until you publish your own content. And that is all about adding screens to the Pixel console. I hope you found the video to be useful. We have interesting videos for all possible issues that you may face while navigating the Pixel software. If you want to learn how to create a composition in Pixel, or how to publish a composition on your screen, you can visit support.pixel.com. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep enjoying the magic of Pixel.